So we still want to use this same recipe. Remember that the first time we used 500 mils, we calculated for 500 mils. Now, this time around, let's calculate for 100 mils. Let's take it down, maybe 500. Let's take it down. We calculate for 100 mils this time around, and we might be calculating for 1000 mils for this exact. Or I might give you this as so I might give you this as um, an assignment for you to calculate. 1000 mils. So, guys, listen and listen good because this will be your assignment. So, we're calculating for 100 mils. That is what we are calculating for now 100 mils for this exact same recipe. So, our black soap is 50%. Now, take note that now we are calculating for 100 mils of black soap. That is the total amount of black soap that we want to use in this, that we want to produce in this recipe. I mean, with this recipe. So now 50% black soap, that is 50 over 100, and that will give us 0 0.5. That is our percentage. Now, times the total amount of product that you want to produce. In this case, now we are not, you know, the first one we did was 500 mils. Now, this is 100 mils. We are using the exact same recipe but different amount of um, product that we want to produce. This is 10, um, 100 mils. Of black soap. The first one we did was 500 mils of black soap. Now this is 100 mils of black soap, but we are using the exact same recipe. So for 100 mils of black soap, therefore 0 0.5 times 100 give us 50 gram of black soap. So can you guys see that? So now for this same exact recipe, but for a different meals, now we are doing for 100 meals. We will need 50 gram of black soap for 100 meals of this recipe now the next thing we want to do is our olive oil the olive oil that we have it calls for 10 percent olive oil so that is 10 percent olive oil so that means we have 10 over 100 which will give us 0 0.1 times 100 mils because now we are calculating for 100 mils of black soap we want to make 100 mils of black soap, not 500 this time, but we are using the same exact recipe. To give us 10 mils of olive oil. So we are using 10 mils of olive oil in this recipe. We are going to be measuring 10 mils of olive oil to put with 50 grams of black soap. Now the next thing is our shea butter. In the recipe, the recipe calls for 10% shea butter. So let's say shea butter. Is 10 percent for the recipe now that is 10 over 100 and that'll give us 0 0.1 times the total amount of soap that you want to make if you are making 10,000 mils of soap maybe you are making a very large amount of black soap 10,000 mils all together then you calculate by 10,000 but we are making just 100 mils so 100 mils and this will also give us 10 gram of shea butter For our turmeric powder, the recipe calls for 10% um, turmeric powder. So the same 10%, that is 10 over 100, is equal to 0 0.1, which is our 10% times 100, the total amount of black soap to be produced. And that will give us 10 grams of turmeric powder. Now let's calculate our herbal extract. For the herbal extract, the recipe calls for what? 15% herbal extract. So that is 15%. So that is 15 all over 100. And this will give us 0 0.15 times total amount of black soap to be made, made 100 mils. And this will give us 15 mils of extract for this recipe. For skin lightener, the recipe calls for 4% skin lightener. So that's a 4%. That is 4 over 100. 4 over 100 is 0 0.04 times 100. It was 4 mils. So now the recipe calls for 1% preservative. So for preservative, one percent that is 
one all over 100 and that is 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 times 100 mils that will give us one mils of preservative now do you guys get that now we use the same exact recipe but different amount of black soap to be made which is 100 mils so do you guys get what we just calculated now we use the same exact recipe that we use for our 500 mils we are also using that same exact recipe for 100 mils but it depends we are going to get different values because the amount of black soap that we want to make has reduced from 500 to 100 mils so the difference is you always put the amount of black soap you want to make you times it by the percentage of that ingredient. Like black soap is supposed to be 50% in this recipe. We want to make 100 mils of this recipe. Now, you calculate that 15 mils of black soap over 100, then you get 0 0.5. Then you times it by the total amount of product to be made. Generally, let's say, oh, okay, well, I want to make soap. I want to make soap for myself. And the soap I want to make for myself is just 100 mils because it's just myself. Okay, this is the recipe I'm going to use for this thing. Now, let me not think, oh, ah. I want to make black soap for my business and I want to make like like 10,000 meals like a big bath of black soap and I want to use this exact same recipe for a big bath of soap now 10,000 meals what am I going to do all I'm going to do is just change this value right here to 10,000 and you multiply 0 0.5 times 10,000 and you get the amount the exact amount of black soap that you need for your formulation and that's where you're going to measure the exact thing that you get here that will you measure for your recipe now assignment so what we are going to do is you guys are going to use this same exact recipe use the exact recipe this exact recipe that i used above to calculate production of 1000 mils of black soap so now you guys are going to calculate with this exact same recipe you are going to calculate 1000 mils of black soap for me and what you want to do is you want to calculate it this exact way that i have calculated mine don't worry i'm going to be writing this recipe down um, in the group so make sure to pick it out and write it down exact same recipe you want to use this same recipe to calculate 1000 mils of black soap and i want it in this format this exact way that i've done mine and make sure to like box out your answers like i've done make box out your measurement like i have done so do it exactly like i calculated mine you also write it like this write your recipe on top write the amount of um, black soap that you want to make which is 1000 mils and then calculate it like this Take a picture of um, the piece of paper that you calculated this on and upload it into the group for me to review. Do you guys get that? I'm going to be writing it down as well. So make sure to check the assignments in the group chat. Make sure to snap like this and send it to me like this as a picture, not a video. Thank you. I hope you guys have been able to understand calculation of percentages to meals. This is like the standard way to write a skincare recipe. It's supposed to be in percentages and not in meals.